As you place graphics in your InDesign projects, you'll eventually need to move, resize, and fit those graphics to their frames. In this video, you'll work with images placed in this newsletter design by learning about resizing frames to crop graphics, using the content grabber to select graphics, fitting commands, and more. Open this file from the practice files for this tutorial if you want to follow along. You'll start by cropping or hiding parts of an image. This is a great way to hide parts of a graphic that you don't want to show in your design. So select the selection tool in the tools panel on the left. Move the pointer over the larger image at the top. When the pointer shows a little black box next to it, not a hand, click to select the frame and the graphic inside. Graphics you place are contained within a frame. The frame and the image are treated as a single object when you move the frame, but you can also transform them separately. Move the pointer over the upper right point on the frame and drag toward the center to the corner of these pink and purple margin guides. The pointer will snap or pull into the guides. Notice that the frame was resized, but the graphic inside wasn't. The frame cropped or masked a part of the graphic. Move the pointer over the turtle image off the right side of the page. Once again, the pointer shows a little black box next to it telling you that if you click, something will be selected. This time, move the pointer over the circles in the center of the image. This is called the content grabber. If you were to click the content grabber, don't click it, you'll select the image within the frame. You'll explore that shortly. Move the pointer over the image away from the center, click and drag the image onto the page, and the purple and green smart guides will help you to align it to the column. Next, you'll resize this frame and the graphic inside it at the same time. With it still selected, Press Command and Shift on Mac, or Control and Shift on Windows, and drag the lower right corner of the graphic frame, making it as wide as the column. Release the mouse button, and then the keys. Notice that with the keys held down, the frame and the graphic resized together. The Command or Control key resizes the frame and the graphic, and the Shift key constrains the proportions, so you won't distort the image. So the text doesn't overlap the image, Drag the bottom middle handle up to crop or hide part of the image. Now when it comes to resizing images and frames, you'll want to use the fitting commands. This can save you time by making image scaling and other transformations a lot faster. Move the pointer over the center of the third image down here. When you see the content grabber, the circles, and the pointer turns into a hand, click to select the graphic within the frame. You can see the bounds of the graphic here, this brown color, and you can tell that the image is larger than the frame it's in, so these parts of the image are cropped or hidden. Now if you drag within the graphic area, resize or transform it, you'll affect the graphic and not the frame. For instance, drag a corner of the graphic to resize it. As you drag, press the shift key to constrain the proportions of the graphic so you don't distort it. When the graphic is a little bit smaller but still bigger than the frame, release the mouse button and then the key. With a graphic selected, you can actually see how big it is relative to the original size it was by looking in the Properties panel to the right of the document. If you click More Options in the Transform section, you can see a percentage that tells you in this case that the graphic is smaller than its original size. Press Escape to select the frame and not the graphic. You should see the blue frame is now selected. To fit the image into the frame in different ways, you can apply a fitting command. You can find a series of fitting commands in the frame fitting section of the properties panel on the right here. Click fill frame proportionally, a fitting command you'll use often, to fill the frame with the graphic without distorting its proportions. Using the fill frame proportionally command, a part of the graphic will usually be cropped or hidden. Now that you know how to resize and fit graphics to frames, you can incorporate graphics into your projects and ensure that they work in the space provided.